eyes closed, kiddo! It's okay. Everything's fine. It must be scary being lost in a hollow all by yourself, right? Don't worry. I'm here now. What are you talking about, huh? Uh, uh, we saved you! Ugh. Saved me? I saved you! Ooh, why are you wandering around that monster's territory? If I hadn't led you here, you'd have walked right into it! Huh? What do you mean? If it weren't for you guys, I might have found the Hollow's exit back to New Eridu by now. I think I can hear something. anyone on the outside for a week. I'm guessing Vision has set up jamming devices. Yeah, so what is this? When exactly is Vision planning to evacuate everyone? Children, you must be coming from the city. Are you bringing any news? Excuse me, who are you? Oh, the little girl you just saved from the hollow is my granddaughter. Thank you for rescuing her. She's always been naughty. She thinks she can sneak into the hollow safely just because she's got ether aptitude. Yesterday, because a public security officer wouldn't tell her the exact time, she came up with an idea to go to New Eridu and ask around. I took my eyes off of her for one second and she ran into the hollow. Um, excuse me, an officer? Did you say an officer came by? Yes, that's right. Yesterday, my granddaughter and a few neighbors got tired of waiting and headed to ask Vision what was going on, but an officer stopped them before they got there. They said nobody could get through because explosives were being handled nearby, and once things were ready, a train would be coming for us. Most of us here are old, sick, and disabled. Other than my granddaughter, none of us have any aptitude for ether, so we can't go anywhere. We were told to wait, so that's all we can do. But it doesn't 
doesn't make sense. How can something as big as a mass evacuation of residents not be scheduled in advance? They just left everyone waiting for notice. And I haven't heard of public security being involved in the project before. Miss, you mean to say... That public security officer who stopped the residents is suspicious. Huh. There has to be more to it than this. I remember them saying Vision Corporation won the bid thanks to a much lower cost. I get it. The Metro Renovation Project is one of the most talked about in New Era Do. It's technically and financially demanding, and they still have to relocate the residents. But if Vision just dealt with the residents along with the demolition, that it's safe costs. So, what you're saying is... Vision has just abandoned us all here? Vision always wanted to perform well enough to enter tops, but I never thought they'd stoop so low for a seat at the table. No! We can't let Vision get away with this! <sighs> Nicole, what do you plan to do now? Uh, I didn't expect this when I took on the commission. Fine, sure. We came into the Dead End Hollow looking for something, and yeah, saving a kid along the way is a good thing, but... Oh, a small, odd job agency can't take on a massive corporation. So, what do you two think? I'll do whatever you say, boss. But, Anby... I didn't expect to agree with Nekomata on this matter. I'm staying. I understand Nicole's thinking. I can't follow this time. This is my chance. I won't make the same mistake again. Is that so? Going against a corporation? Andy, you really pulled at my heartstrings! They're the Vision Corporation! They may be big enough to join the Tops Alliance! Just think of the money we could squeeze out of them if we threaten to expose them! Quickly, Billy, Envy, go tell each of these gold nuggets, uh, I mean victims, that the cutting hairs are willing to represent them in their lawsuit for compensation. Don't just stand there. Get everyone to sign the authorization forms. Collect them one by one. And Nekomara, I know you're our client, but I have something for you to do too. Uh, me? You want to save everyone, right? You know the area and you're the most agile. Here. Take my bangboo. I want you to take it someplace and get help. Okay, that's everything. Nicole told me they'd stay in the construction area collecting victim signatures and monitoring Vision's movements. My mission was to find faith in and get help. After leaving the others, I went back through the Dead End Hollow and came straight to your store. Really? I'm not lying! Nicole and everyone else in the blast zone are in grave danger! Please, Faithen! You have to help me save them! We believe you, Nekomata. But as professional proxies, we have to warn you of the risks involved. Right. In saving all the residents, we'll inevitably come to blows with the Vision Corporation. <sighs> you don't need to tell me that! I made up my mind ever since I left! All I can think about now is getting everyone out of the blast zone! Okay, if the client has made up her mind, there's nothing more to say. Well then, let's work on a rescue plan. Take a look at this map. The Cunning Hares and the residents are trapped at the Canvas Street Station, which is several kilometers away from the surveillance point where Pearlman's located. But to keep the trapped residents in check, he's transported a number of armed mercenaries pretending to be public security by train. Speaking of which, the train that we delayed earlier is almost at its destination. So there'll be even more people to guard the residents. We're not strong enough to face them head on. But perhaps we can take advantage of holes in the enemy's defense. Yeah? What does that mean? Look, those trapped residents have no ether aptitude, so the mercenaries don't expect anyone coming from behind. With everyone guarding the front, the surveillance point should be relatively unguarded. That makes sense. We can go around behind them through the hollow and catch them off guard. Yeah, good idea! And then? Then, we quickly hijack the train at the surveillance point and go through the hollow to the Canvas Street Station. As long as the residents get to the station platform in advance, we can have everyone out of the blast zone in minutes. 
How clever! The train itself has some resistance to corruption. So as long as we get them out of the hollow quickly, they will get affected! Yeah! Hey, Fairy, can you drive the train out of the hollow and into New Eridu as quickly as possible? Affirmative. I have already mapped out the shortest route. No time to waste. Let's get started, then. Nekomata, take this bamboo. Go find Nicole and tell her the plan. Then... Right! Then, it's crunch time! So, double the accuracy. Ready for combat. Head made nothing to fear. It's our. Mm -hmm. Let's take a needs. Come on. Let's hit the road.
Feeling hungry? Let me make you a deluxe bowl. Hmm. Mm hmm. even finished all your broth. Want some more? Shining so brightly today makes it the perfect condition for shopping. Lazy afternoon. Want some? Sometimes stopping to take a break can help you go further. And be here. I've got the last few signatures. Thanks. No, I should be thanking you. We were really at our wits' end before you kids arrived. But when is the young lady you sent for help coming back? She's been gone a long time. You're right. 
I hope she didn't run into trouble. Such concern for us. I'm so happy. Unless you were just talking about Nekomata. The voice. It's the proxy. Sorry to keep everyone waiting. I see. So you plan to stop the demolition by blocking the train, but you didn't expect to find a bunch of vision reinforcements. Huh. This means vision is at the point of no return. They'll do whatever it takes to stop the residents from getting out. But the proxy's plan to seize the train could work. <laughs> it's true what they say about Faithen's wisdom and courage. Ma'am, you've heard our plan. Now we have something to ask of you. We need you to get all the residents together at the platform nearby. Don't worry, I'll tell them. When the time comes, they'll be there. Right. By the way, there was an old Red Fang Gang base in the hollow somewhere around here. Have you heard of it? What's with the abrupt change of topic? Why do you want to know all of a sudden? Nekomata's commission fee! Uh, uh, I mean, we still haven't found her family heirloom! I thought maybe the residents here might know something. I know the place. Everyone around here knows the Red Fang Gang. <laughs> Is that so? Yes. Since they made their name on Canvas Street, everyone here is related to them one way or another. In the early days, they weren't what they are now. Back then, they took in lots of orphans, taught them to read and defend themselves. They often stood up for those in need. They said they'd protect this place forever. Unfortunately, a few years passed, and that silver boy changed. He looked down on the slums and led the gang to do some awful things. As things got worse, many in the gang couldn't stand to see what it had become. Many of them left the gang. Soon after, the Red Fang Gang moved out of here. We don't want anything to do with the Red Fang Gang anymore. Silver fell into the hollow while being chased by public security. He only has himself to blame. Huh? What did you say? What's the matter, young lady? We want nothing to do with them. What's wrong with that? No! Not that! You said Silver fell into the hollow being chased by the Pubsec? Wasn't he killed by the Cunning Hairs? Uh, w uh, about that... <laughs> <laughs> Little kitten! <laughs> uh, I mean, Miss Client! You can understand, right? We wanted to tell you, but... Each time you looked at us with those big, cute eyes, we just couldn't. We're sorry! We were there, but it was public security who did it. Huh? So it wasn't you guys? Don't worry, Nekomata. Even if public security hadn't intervened, he was no match for the cunning hairs. Ahem. <clears throat> Even though it was you who got it wrong to begin with, we're somewhat responsible as well. How about we give you a small discount on your family heirloom commission? Uh, anyway, let's put this aside for now. First things first, we have to get that train and evacuate the residents out of here. Okay, let's go. We made it. Vision Corporation has its monitoring station here. The train is also nearby. To avoid alerting anyone, I found a secret way in. And here it is. Let's get moving. Sure! The Starlight Knight's here to punish the bad guys! It has to. It has to work! Let's take the secret way, then. 
try to sneak over to the monitoring station. Not bad, Faithen. You're so prepared. Everything's going according to plan. Great. The route seems to be going well. Guys, we're near the train. Our objective is simple. Take out the guards, Seize the train and head on out. Roger that. Uh, I think the pressure is getting to Ambi. She's lost her mind. Not quite. I'm guessing she's humming background music to match the atmosphere. Must have learned it from another movie. Enough with the soundtrack, Ambi. Everyone knows how important this next fight is. Proxy, we'll leave driving the train to you. How are preparations on your side? <laughs> These two hands are ready and waiting. Well, you're as enthusiastic as ever. Don't get too overexcited, though. Just make sure the mission is a success. Then, let's go! We'll catch them off guard! Attack! Come on, let's make this quick! Leave them down, get out of the hollow, and find the train! Hey! Huh. <laughs> Andy, fall back! What's this? My turn. Don't worry, boss, I got this! <laughs> to the press, and Vision and I will be done for! I don't care what it takes, just stop this thing at once! Warning, the planned route has been disconnected. Railroad damage from small explosives detected. Plan failed. What? Nicole, this isn't good! Something happened to the tracks! No way! D Director Bowman, sir, don't worry. I've blown up the only railroad route leading to New Eridu. They can't get out. No way! You... you fool! You were supposed to blow it up after we've evacuated! Look what you've done! The residents can't get out, but now neither can we! Nicole, this isn't good. 
Enemy reinforcements have surrounded us. What should we do? Oh, damn it. Take the pipsqueak. Let's pull back into the train first. Come in, Director Perlman. Unknown intruders attack near the train. We've suffered some losses. But rest assured, in terms of numbers and supplies, we maintain the advantage. The intruders retreated into the train. Please advise, should we begin an all-out assault? <laughs> Director Perlman, requesting orders. Don't, don't storm in! I'm inside! These bastards! I mean, the ladies and gentlemen from the Cunning Hands have me trapped in here! Stand down! Do you hear me? Stand down! If I'm harmed, the corporation will hold you all responsible! <laughs> this dude has his uses after all. They won't make any sudden moves. But unfortunately, we can't go anywhere either. Right. The tracks are gone. And even with the train, we can't get everyone out of the hollow now. Is it... Is it the end of the line? <laughs> hey! Now isn't the time to be laughing! No, I wasn't laughing at you. I happened to find it. During the fighting. My family heirloom! That's you with... Wait... That's Silver... From the Red Fang Gang. That's right. I lied to you. I'm not the Red Fang Gang's enemy, but one of the orphans who used to live near Canvas Street that they adopted. The Red Fang Gang used to have ideals. They all wanted to protect their home. But as you've heard, eventually things got bad, and I broke away from the gang. They haven't been back since. No matter how disappointed I was in the Red Fang Gang, Silver took me in. The Red Fang Gang was the closest I ever had to a family. After hearing you led Silver into the Hollow and killed him, I came into the Dead End Hollow looking for revenge. But you're not exactly... what I expected. Not only did you save the kid, you even stayed without a single complaint after hearing a vision's plan. And now that I know Silver's death wasn't your fault, I have no reason to want revenge! The Red Fang Gang betrayed their promise and abandoned the people they were supposed to protect. As a former member of the gang, I can't let that happen again. I've made up my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna go negotiate with Vision. Don't worry. With Pearlman as a bargaining chip, plus my identity as a member of the Red Fang Gang, things will work out. <laughs> Miss Client! Necromata! Hey! Come back! Nicomata! Nicomata! Abby! Billy! Open the door! We can't, boss! It's too tough! Roman's people must have reinforced the doors and windows in the car! Damn it! Shh! Listen, there are people talking outside. I've made myself clear, haven't I? Now, I'm gonna take your boss with me on foot through the hollow to New Eridu to negotiate with your command center. At the same time, all your men, all of you, will stop blocking the residents and leave with me. So, if you don't want anything bad to happen to your boss, you better find him an anti-corruption device. And the fastest route through the hollow! Nicole! Everyone's counting on you! Nekomata and Perlman have already gone into the hollow! Barry, I need to know Nekomata's location. Client location found. Based on her current route, she will be arriving at the hollow exit in 30 minutes. So there's no way to stop her? No way. We can't leave saving the residents to Nekomata alone. If Vision is willing to resort to something so underhanded, they won't be easy to deal with. But our plan with the train failed, so how are we gonna get the residents out? They don't have any aptitude for ether. Aww. If only there was a way to give corruption resistance to everyone at once! 
Maybe we can shake things up a bit. Ever hear the saying, if the mountain can't come to us, we'll have to go to the mountain? Ah, I get it. Good idea. It could be dangerous, but it's the only way. Huh? What do you mean? Nicole, Canvas Street and New Eridu aren't that far apart as the crow flies. It's getting through the dead end hollow that takes so long. If we can shrink the hollow and gain access to the exposed roads, we can get the residents out in one go. Yeah! Then there's a chance! We're good at taking out ethereals! But to reduce the size of the hollow, we'd have to eliminate approximately 3,000 of them. <sighs> Under certain circumstances, the ether activity of certain giant individuals can reach or even exceed the equivalent of thousands of your standard ethereals. You've probably guessed by now. I mean the dead-end butcher. Th that massive guy? He's way too big, however you look at it. If something goes wrong, I won't get to see Monica tomorrow night. <sighs> we certainly aren't a match for it alone. But don't forget, Vision left quite a few weapons lying around. We could help ourselves to some of their ether explosives. Huh. So that's it. We use the explosives to take out the dead end butcher. Huh. It's like you said. A pretty crazy idea. But we don't have time to think about it. Let's get to work. Okay. The new plan involves using Vision's explosives. All their stock should be in here. Suggestion. Transport it with a vehicle. Good idea. Let's load the explosives onto the train. This path's blocked. We can't go this way. Warning. Neko Miyamana's biosignal detected. What? Where is she? The target is about to reach the hollow exit. going on here? How did Director Perlman get tied up by a little girl? I don't know, but she got hold of Commander Perlman and the troops defending the blast area had to listen to her demands and pull out. She says she wants to see the person in charge here, so Miss Sarah has stepped in to negotiate. You're the person in charge? My request is simple. I'll return him to you as soon as Vision stops the demolition and gets the residents out. Easy for you to say. If we do as you say, and it turns into a scandal, how are we supposed to explain things to the public? And who are you exactly? You aren't worried about negotiating with us on your own? Oops, forgot to introduce myself. I'm Nekomiyomana, but you can call me Nekomara. I won't lie, I'm actually from the Red Fang Gang. The, the Red Fang Gang? 
right? I said I would negotiate. So I brought the proper bargaining chips. The remnant of the Red Fang Gang. And a subordinate of the late Miguel Silver. Who took residents of the old capital as hostages and violently obstructed construction. The bandit leader, Neko Miyamata. Captured by the Vision Corporation. How's that? Sound good to you? You mean to sacrifice yourself? How noble. Noble? <laughs> I'm just a stray animal who's lost her home. I don't belong anywhere anymore, so it would seem fitting. How about it? As long as you contact the media now... ...and tell the public. Don't worry, he's not dead. The syringe contains an experimental anesthetic. Let me give you some advice. Verify the value of your bargaining chip before you bring it to the table. Unfortunately, Mr. Pearlman is not as useful to us as you might think. <sighs> we have to hurry. Split into two groups and carry out the original plan. We're going to stall the dead end butcher, right? Yeah. Lure it to the target location. Leave the explosives train to us. Got it. We'll get going then. Okay. Let's get the train moving. We've got control of the train. I hope things go well for Nicole and the others. So empty out here. The big guy's really around. Not sure about the big guy. Plenty of little guys, though. It must be hiding somewhere. Huh? The beasties are running away. Almost here. The monster? The theme song. What? The bad guy's theme always plays before the final battle. Don't worry, Ambi. I've mastered all the rules for a surefire win from the Starlight Knights! Gotta break the rules when fighting bad guys. Take them out in less than 10 seconds with a flying kick! They won't even have time to play their theme song! Behind you. My predictions were out predicted! You big dummy! The only thing they'd be playing for you are the credits! Don't tell me this guy's a fan of the Starlight Knights too! Just a little longer. 
enough chit-chat. It's time to get down to business. What's that in your hand? This little thing? Huh. The detonation switch for the ether explosives, of course. No! Wait! No! I deeply regret the loss of any non-existent residents in the blast zone. Everything we do is for our vision. Goodbye. Miss Sarah, reports show a successful blast. Good. Wait! Look! That tunnel leading out of the hollow! Someone's coming out! The Vision Corporation is a disgrace! Down with the Vision Corporation! Vision has the blood of innocent civilians on its hands! You can't silence us this time! Oh, everyone! Oh, so you were able to get out of the blast zone? I'm impressed. Do you really think you can expose us? Don't forget, everyone here belongs to us. On my order, open fire. What? How could she? She's serious! <laughs> What's that sound? This just in, a shocking scandal is developing around the Vision Corporation. After receiving a tip off, our reporter followed the public security and has now arrived at the site of the Demolition Command Center located near the entrance to the Dead End Hollow. Public security forces are currently cordoning off the scene and have subdued a number of unidentified individuals posing as law enforcement. 
Calling Director Sarah! Calling Director Sarah! We're surrounded by public security! Hmm... Not just public security, Bellabog Industries is here too! They brought the media! We've lost control of the area! <laughs> I knew Vision wouldn't give up easily, so I contacted Bellabog as we got out of the hollow. As expected of a competitor, they got here real fast. Director Sarah, what should we do? The Director Sarah? Where are you? Reporting. All suspects have surrendered. No casualties among the residents. <sighs> the public security says we're safe. I heard they'll get our details soon, and we'll be taken to the station to give statements. <sighs> What are you doing? I was going to ask what you're doing, sneaking around alone. Didn't you hear the announcement, requesting everyone to the station to make a statement? I... Uh, everything has been dealt with, so I'm not needed anymore. No way. You are an important witness who can prove Vision is guilty. And then, there's the cunning Harris. I'm the one who tried to get you killed, right? You've still gotta pay your share. Huh? My share? What share? Your share for dinner, of course. Didn't we say, once we are done with the commission, we'll go out for dinner? You said you didn't want to go to the Starlight Night restaurant, so Billy will pay for us. And Nicole says she wants a decent meal, so we'll have to split the bill. Wait a second! You guys said you'd treat me for being a generous client! Why do I have to pay all of a sudden? And did anyone ask me my opinion? I never said I'd go! Then consider this a formal invitation. Would you like to come to dinner with us? The proxy siblings are coming too! And it's all you can eat! That's right! All the mackerel you can get your paws on! Why? Why? Uh... Unlimited mackerel? Then I'll have to think about it! Anyway, thanks to Nekomata's connections within the Red Fang Gang, they won't be coming after us anymore. And I've made progress on what you asked me to investigate. According to the gang, they took part in stealing the Strong Box, but nobody knows where it actually came from. Apparently, Silver received a commission from a mysterious client. They were told to go to the Institute and get the Strong Box. But Silver didn't give the gang all the details, like how or to whom they were going to hand over the box, so nobody knows. Slow down. Did I hear you right? No one knows where it came from? Mystery client? Nobody knows the details? Didn't you say you'd made progress? But the Red Fang Gang had no idea about the Strong Box. But that Strong Box is really hard to look into. And I want to help those poor old residents who escaped death get compensation as soon as possible. We saved them together after all. Thanks for the guilt trip, Nicole. We'll let you off the hook this time. That reminds me. What happened to Nekomata? I haven't seen her since that day. Ah, that little kitten. <laughs> About that... So she still left. Meow, meow, meow! Cat attack! They printed our group photo app! What do you think? It's good, right? Super clear! Come grab one! This one's for Wise, and this one's for Belle. Nicole, 
Playing on our heart strengths is a bit much. Don't even think about using the commission fee to cover what you owe. Just pay the 10% today. Well said, Wise. Have mercy on me. I just wanted to surprise you. Ahem. Let me formally introduce to you the newest member of the Cunning Hairs. I'm Nickel Miyamata, but you can call me Nickel Mata. I work for the Cunning Hairs. I look forward to cooperating with you both, meow! 